Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Remember yesterday we were talking about President Obama looking at passing a gas tax? Oh yes, for our sins as, as what, an economy um, to help forward the interests of green energy and it was supposed to be going through the United Nations and all that stuff. Well guess what, he's not waiting for the United Nations. They announced this morning that through the EPA there's going to be a gas tax. That's going to start at 10 cents a gallon more per Yes, 10 cents more. Tax per gallon. Now, I don't know about you guys in California, but, okay, in California, $4 is considered cheap gas for regular, the cheapest gas that's out there. I know in Las Vegas, the difference between gas here in LA and Las Vegas is about 70 cents a gallon because of all the extra taxes. Uh, uh, anyway, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Yeah, he would be <laughs> old like I am. See, <laughs> you see, no, see the representative was putting Herbie Daddy and me. <laughs> I think I need to get some little glasses for him. Oh, yeah, let's get some glasses. We need to get some glasses for her. <laughs> and it's all over for the Republicans. Well, they're, they're listening this morning. They're talking about how Republicans are going to have to go with gay marriage. Republicans are going to have to uh, legalize 11 million people that are here and as many more without ever having to become citizens or learning to speak the language. Republicans have been beaten badly. Um, except for the minor fact was Carl Rowe and those people that are basically, okay, Carl Rowe's going to support another candidate that can't win because he's not going to, the, the heart and soul of the party is, is conservative and, and it's not social conservatism, it's conservative, which means they don't want you to spend money, folks, and they don't believe in gay marriage. They believe, okay, here it is. They believe in, uh, the, you cannot stop civil unions mm -hmm. that cannot be stopped, but they can stop marriage because, the, um, and, and I heard one of the people this morning talking about, he said, she said uh, that, that they said, well, the majority of the people born after 1980 all support gay rights and the legalization of the, of the immigrants in our country. And she pointed out 70% of the people living in this country were born before 1980 and you're basically saying the majority go to hell. He said, "Well, we're not saying that." He said, "Did you say? Did you? Did you? Or did you not say that the views of the people in the majority, the 70 percent of the majority, aren't relevant to the Republican Party?" He said, "Well, we have to join the 21st century, and they don't belong with it." In mm -hmm. that saying, that 70 percent of the people in this nation do not belong. And Forbes values Yankees at two point three billion dollars. Yeah, trying to sell it for two point three billion. That you will okay. We know what will okay. Obama is more likely to get uh, a liberal member to be the head of the labor department than the Yankees are to sell the team for three point two point three billion dollars. It's not going to happen. And Obama urges Congress to pass gun control legislation a hundred days after Newton. Oh, I mean, even the Democrats are on him over. Well, I heard one of them last night said that his disgraceful, uh, his disgraceful actions yesterday basically buried any chance of gun control legislation. He brought out the mothers of all of the kids that were killed, and their families to show Republicans have no heart. Republicans won't do this. Republicans won't do that. And the one guy, one of the people, one of the leading Democrats in the Senate said, well, I was a Republican. I'd, I'd give this president the finger and say F you after that. Mm -hmm. He said he basically destroyed any chance he has of getting any gun legislation now. They're going to filibuster him now. They've already told Harry Reid that there will be no gun control legislation, period, now. Ooh. And Newton families appear in Bloomberg anti-gun ads. Yeah, and then <laughs> basically it's not... The uh, majority of the people are finding the Bloomberg ads as offensive as they did Jim Carrey's thing. Oh, they are. Oh God, they got a new. Uh, they have a new record, uh, a new recording out on iTunes of, uh, you know, of you know, you're going to have to pull the gun out of my security guard's cold dead hands. You're going to have to take the 16, 15 shot magazines off of their dead bodies because they're going to do whatever they have to do and use whatever guns they have to do with whatever magazines they have to use to protect me and f you. So. <laughs> They think that's real popular at the moment. Oh my gosh. And why are all these Democrats suddenly supporting gay marriage? Uh, because it's, it's political correctness. It's because it, the way it works is, I was listening to a thing this morning 
that's um, socialism by Winston Churchill. Socialism results in the dumbing down of the populace. It, 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 it was, you have to destroy everything that is, uh, and if it's historical, if it's, if it's people's beliefs, you have to destroy it. And um, I mean, the United Nations said, for Christ's sake, there's only seven million gay people in the whole world. Seven million. That's it. And it, and you would think that there's a there's you know that every person in Southern California is gay. I will guarantee you, the best way not to get a job in a movie or a TV show in, in California mm -hmm. is to be gay. Mm -hmm. They hold mm -hmm. it against you for being mm -hmm. gay. So a lot of gay people, I really find it offensive too, is that people that I know have been gay all my life. Have now have to go into the closet to be on camera, and as soon as they get off camera, they're gay, mm -hmm. which is ridiculous. They're, they well, have you know, to. in part, it's it's just kind of crazy. And it's like you've, in around Hollywood, there's a lot of people that support being gay, which is fine. But what happens is when it comes to jobs, they don't want. I know this sounds bad. They don't want it to, the gayness to overstep into some of the content because a lot of the world. Does not believe in it. Oh God, Matt Damon crazy. couldn't get a movie on Liberace for Christ's sake. Liberace's a he's, he's about a, as well known as they ever yeah. could be. He couldn't get it released because it was too gay, and they had to go to cable where they're having problems getting it on the air because it's Liberace was Liberace. Liberace, which is not matter what it's just like he was make, an icon in the industry. Yeah, I mean, I grew, I grew up with people that basically whose careers were destroyed. Because it was thought that they were they hung around with gay people too much. Uh, they weren't gay. They just had gay friends. And, and oh. gay friends would never work. They basically were never able to work. So I I just thought it was always ridiculous. I mean, if you're a dancer, every you know that everybody is gay when you're dancing with them, folks. So. <laughs> the fashion industry's full of them. Yeah. And hairdressers. We know mm -hmm. because we know lots of gay people. I, I've always got along. Like I tell people, when I was in college. I, I, I was a red shirt, folks. Basically, it means you. I kicked, I punted stuff. You do not hit the punter. I had my next door neighbor was he was about 340 pounds, great big staffing black Afro America. He hit me every single time I was up in the air after I kicked the ball, and he'd tell me, "Boy, you're going to have to learn how to play this game like a man. And you, you're not supposed to hit me." He said, "You're going to learn how to take this." And he was gay as can be. So <laughs> don't believe that they're not. You know, <laughs> mean news. And U.S. approves the NASDAQ payback plan for Facebook IPO and UBS unhappy. Oh yeah, because, okay, these people overvaluated, I mean the company is still $15 a share under what they told people it was going to be. They Even after they knew it wasn't going to be worth the money and it was, there's no way for Facebook to make any money because the apps, they, it doesn't work well with apps as we can tell you. Mm -hmm. And just do it, says Yahoo's teen app millionaire. I know. I, I, I get this is getting to be ridiculous. I mean, the, the, okay. Uh, I, I remember what they said. We were at a, a Digital Hollywood. I think they said that 95% of the apps that are turned out are never used by anybody. Well, then you just have to develop a really good one, huh? Yeah, but the <laughs> ones that are used are the same ones that are... They're basically... There, there's no wiggle room. The ones that were developed early are the ones that are still being used. I mean, like, they had this thing about... The early bird catches the worm. No, I thought they... I was watching yesterday. I thought this was a great app that they... It, it works for Apple and works for Android. Well, but it's got limitations, and until they figure out how to work the limitations out, it won't exactly work as you think, want it to work. Well, what good is it? Mm-hmm. And by due, China win dismissal of U.S. censorship lawsuit. Yeah, because it's just... Um, uh, we, we do have a constitution, even though our president doesn't know it. Yeah. And the Asian shares gain as U.S. data builds optimism. Okay, it's a phony thing. Um, uh, I, I was listening to another broker over, actually, which is funny, Bloomberg is really to the left, but Bloomberg definitely have people to tell the truth, and they're talking about this morning. He said that uh, he's not going to put his money in this market because he knows it's not real. He said this market is at least 4,000 points over what it should be. And when it falls, he said they think as long as Obama keeps spending money and the Treasury Department keeps printing money, the market is going to grow because they're doing business with one another. But uh, when that stops, the market is going to have a collapse like you have never seen in the history of mankind. Mm -hmm. And Citigroup looks to cut cash holdings to boost earnings. 
You know, that's, um, which I don't, uh, okay, once again, you have to understand who owns the banks in this country. It's Obama. Yeah, and J.C. Penney revives markup to mark down tactic to boost sales. Well, yeah, they basically... That's supposed to be new, I think. <laughs> no, they, no, they went away from it. They hired a guy that basically helped sell cell phones to be the head of the company, and his plans basically tanked. They weren't advertising, they weren't doing TV advertising. They basically got rid of their catalog, and they were doing no more coupons. They wouldn't match coupons for other companies. Only only things that, uh, if if they had a product in their store would be sold elsewhere, they would match that product coupon. That's but no one else's, though. And a Monty bubble is in front of Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay, on, on Palm Friday, we, you know, we can basically, you know, wish you a very happy... Oh, Good Friday. Good Friday. You're going to have a very happy and safe weekend, folks.